this is Lizzie from Let's Only Spoil You with my February anime roundup. Didn't watch lots and lots of anime. I kind of started a few things because I had a panel in March. So I watched the first couple of episodes of a load of things, which I will finish off hopefully during March, and then I can report back on the rest of those series. But things that I definitely finished was a little gem called Flip Flappers, which no one's really talking about, but whoever's seen it seems to really enjoy it. It's a lovely anime, it's beautifully animated, has a coherent storyline, beginning to end, it's all wrapped up in its 13 episode runs, has a very endearing, like relationship between the two lean girls and it's kind of this weird it's so whimsical it's kind of one of those things that reminds me a little bit of Madoka in which it's like cute and girly and it's magical and then there's this darker undertow going on throughout the series but what's beautiful about it is like each episode they go to a different like world to hunt down these like gems and each world is different so sometimes they find themselves in like this fantasy experience sometimes it's this really psychedelic like world there's one episode where they end up in like the plot of a horror like series which is a really well done one and it's all about you know fears and anxieties discovering who you are as long with like cool magical cool transformations battling mechas fighting monsters finding out this dark secret the shady organization that wants to use their powers for not good and it's just it's beautifully animated really good feels i had a you know cry at the end and I would buy the action figures from it if they made them. It's got literally no merchandising for it. It does have a stupid name. The reason I didn't watch it back in 2016 was because it was called Flip Flappers. And I was like, oh goodness, that's a silly name. I'm not watching that. And the poster was so bright and colourful. And the transformations were just like, well, I'm flip flapping. And you're like, oh god, that looks silly. But then actually it has a lot of heart, a lot of layers, some darkness in there too. And it was a really good like anime series. And then I watched for guilty pleasure, Vatican Mystery Examiners, which is basically kind of, you know, yaoi bait really, you know, two hot priests are called in to investigate mysteries, so people petition the Vatican going, there's been a demonic possession, someone's had a virgin birth, you know, um, the corpse is not rotting because he's really the reincarnation of Saint somebody famous, I don't really know my, like, church mythology in my bible very well it was not i did not pay attention in sunday school a lot of the time but you know they send in two priests who both obviously have their angst and their backgrounds and their tragic pasts that haunt them as well and they have one of those like really codependent overly obsessed with each other relationships that's so fun to ship and they go and investigate things like demonic possessions and the fact that there's secret you know demon summoning nazi like cults hiding underneath churches trying to like you know corrupt the world and it's it's terrible but also just very entertaining like if you want some nice bashonans investigating weird supernatural stuff and you know weird cults and all those shenanigans and you know you're a fan of things like Yami Namatsue and Mirage of Blaze it's not quite as clever as those shows but I really enjoyed it. It was animated beautifully, it had a nice opening, it had good storylines, each each storyline lasted a couple of episodes, they wrapped it up, slowly and slowly like the bigger picture was coming in. Um, if they made another series I would definitely be on board for that because yeah it's one of those shows that's just made for people like me that have a little bit of an obsession with like you know tragic exorcists that go and hunt demons considering i'm obsessed with the exorcist tv show and i'm obsessed with john constantine the whole like ooh, gay priests investigate supernatural occurrences and have to perform exorcisms it's totally up my alley so i loved it and then the other show that i absolutely adored was finally after 10 years of waiting they finally did the Sokino no fafner 2 so which is called um exodus and okay i put my off watching it because I thought if I watch this it will finally be over and I waited 10 years for it and then I waited another year to finally watch it and it was every bit as wonderful as I wanted it to be. Obviously Soshi and Kazuki are still my main focus on it, they're an amazing ship and they are clearly in love with each other but it also opens up the world to so much more drama. Now that they've moved past just the island of the first episode and you see the global scale of this alien invasion there's so many more factions it gets very gundam and it's politics and it's factions plus this alien presence that you never quite know whose side it's on plus some of the aliens are like wait a minute i don't think i want to be destroying the world and humanity so it's kind of a combination of macross and gundam yet all new wave mecha with some amazing mecha designs and 
and a breakdown of human psyche and tragedy and character death after character death. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm not going to get attached to anybody. And some truly weird and interesting, like, the more the kids use this certain form of, like, faff and a mecca, the more it kind of starts affecting their reality and their space and their bodies start changing in weird and interesting ways, while also asking those lovely social commentary things of, like, why is it always young children that get from thrust into the forefront of, like these battles like why are the adults so corrupt in these worlds who's really worth judging society and also just awesome mech battles and big explosions plus the animation is beautiful and the opening theme is like amazing i just absolutely adore exodus it's amazing they've hinted at that there might be a third series coming but since i waited 10 years for a second series I don't think it'll be coming any time soon, but the minute it does, I'll be like, oh, thank goodness, because it's one franchise that I absolutely adore and absolutely worship. So, yeah, definitely worth checking out. But that's it for my anime roundup. As I said, February was a bit of a busy month. Haven't been binge-watching as much as I normally do, but hopefully get back on track and give you some interesting reviews for March. But for now, obviously, you can follow me at Let Zoe Spoil You on Tumblr, on Instagram, um, YouTube channel, as well as Facebook. But for now, I'm signing off. Bye-bye.